Okay, we got a spot prepared for 30 yards of compost. So in the absence of light, this type of plastic should not deteriorate. But you can see here how in the sun it gets rotten and tears easily. It's still in pretty good shape, but there are holes in it. In it. So I also put carpet, carpeting like this. I put carpeting underneath the far end, which is where most of the compost goes. This big truck has a, a tractorized bed floor and it will just a conveyor belt right out of the back of his truck onto this plastic sheeting. And then we'll use it up as much as we can. But where we're ordering so much to get a better price all at once, I needed a place to protect the compost from being ruined by the root crop weeds that come up like morning glory, bindweed, and the white top, which is just terrible. Uh, uh, this little pile right here is sitting on compost. I mean, sitting on carpet. <laughs> this is sand. But if I didn't have it sitting on something to protect it from the weeds, in, in just a few weeks, the entire sand pile would be green with with white top or bindweed and the entire pile of sand of course would be filled with those roots so if we were to to distribute the sand into the garden with those roots in it all, all we're doing is spreading the weed roots around in our yard and I don't want to do that it's a terrible weed uh, problem but uh, we've learned to deal with it <laughs> you can see we have weeds and they, you just maintain the, the, the weeds. Uh, but where we, where we can help it, we use the carpet or plastic to keep the weeds from killing our sand pile and we sure don't want it in the compost at all. This is not greenhouse plastic, it's just a standard plastic tarp from the hardware store. So in the sun it will rot, but I've had it rolled up there's a few minor holes in there, but it'll work great, uh, and we'll use, use the compost pile fast enough that we won't have any problems.